Hi, and welcome to another... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no. What's wrong? I ruined it. Welcome to another Google Hangout with In Color. Shabam. This time we're going to be talking about Hate the World. Wow. It's a big one. And we're going to listen to it. Are we just going to go for it? Yeah, let's go for it. In three, two, one. Hey, what are those noises? Did I, I do saw... that? <laughs> <laughs> Where did it come from? It yeah, came from there. It came from, it came from your soul. Ah. Beautiful sounds. So what do you say, RJ? I was just going to say, it's my birthday. Aww. No, it's not. This is the birthday song. This is the song that we sing on birthday celebrations. Yep. Um, this song was one of the last songs that we recorded for the album. That's true. It's because we wrote it, uh, I don't know, we wrote it like... Pretty much we in were, the studio. Yeah, as we were recording the album, we kept putting off... When we went into the studio, I'm sorry, um, we had eight songs, and we knew that we wanted to record ten. So as we were in the studio, we kept putting off the last... Uh, these, this song and our last song because we hadn't written them yet. So we pretty much completely wrote this song in the studio and uh, I'm, I'm super pleased with how it turned out. This is actually one of my favorite songs. That's a good one. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, we knew what the song we knew that the song was going to be called Hate the World. We knew what the song was going to be about. Um, and we knew that we wanted it to be really fun, upbeat song. And Gabe came up with that opening synth line a while ago and a couple of the other um, digital stuff that you hear in this and I was just like that's so catchy that's so infectious let's write the song around that and uh, I think the night before it was time to record it I finally wrote it <laughs> yeah um, so, I have I have a good uh, it's like yeah you said you want it to be really fun so it's like at one point you're like oh I don't know what this is on my head, it's kind of boring. But then you're like, oh, Mohawk, I'm having so much fun. So that's pretty much what the song's about. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. So, uh, if you want to actually say what it's about, that'd be cool. Sure. Yeah, yeah, where does the idea of Hate the World come from? Actually, yeah, this is important because this is kind of like the, the last moment of the first five songs. The first five songs in the album are centered around the idea of Hate the World, and this is just kind of the climax of all of that. So this song is really basic. It's just basically saying, like, if I take stock and everything that I see in the world, um, everything that I have enjoyed, everything that I could enjoy, if I was rich, if I was famous, if I had all the friends I wanted, if life was always a good time and fun, all of that stuff, if I had all of those things, um, and I had to make the decision to trade that in for you, I would make that choice every time. And, and we're talking about uh, the relationship that we have with God in that. And it's uh, based off of a scripture um, that, you know, what's the scripture where it's like, a, you know, if this, the kingdom of God is like this guy who finds this treasure and then he goes and sells everything he has for that treasure because he realizes how valuable it is. And that's basically what this song is like. It's saying, I am so in love with, with you, God. Um, nothing, that nothing compares. Nothing to compares, nothing. yeah. And uh, I love you so much that it would appear that I hate everything else. That's how, how big my love is. So mm -hmm. that's kind of the song. It's cool. Yeah, my, uh, my favorite part about this song is what we were just listening to is just like this big fat synth sound that uh, was, it's called a Moog. And that's, um, I, that was just so fun to record. Uh, our producer Ben West came up with that. And it was just like, it's, I love it. It's my, it's one of my favorite, uh, parts about the whole album. Yeah. I think it's so cool, it's so unique. Yeah, when we first started, uh, when I came out with the first demo for it, it was something like really kind of happy and, and like wimpy and and it was really cool how it turned into like this big massive synth dirty sounds and so we're so thankful that Ben gave us that bridge. Hey Ian, can you say something real quick? Cause I haven't heard you this whole video, but I love you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I would trade it all for you, RJ. <laughs> Uh, that's all you need to say. Yeah. That's awesome. Ian, what's your favorite part of this song? I would have to say, um, yeah, definitely the Moog part. That, like the breakdown in the bridge. It's just like, 
it's just so massive, and it's so much fun to play live. Um, mm. Because me and Beth, like, I'm playing a sub bass live, and then Beth is playing the like an actual bass, and we kind of like have this countering bass line that goes on, and it's one of my favorite songs to play live. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Beth really always cool. rocks it out, lays it solid for me. Mm. So. Yeah, it's a blast. <laughs> Well, why don't you sign us off, sir, Sir Ian Pants. This has been another episode with In Color. Stay tuned for next week's episode in which we will talk about the next song on our album called Love, Love the World. But where do you get the album? Is it this wallet or is it <laughs> this? You can find our album upon the interwebs of the World Wide Webernets. On <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> On iTunes, <laughs> you can find us in all of our uh, social media outlets and links links to uh, all of our pages at incolorband.com um, and uh, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. So we love you guys. Thanks so much for being with us this week. We will see you next time. <laughs>